H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Right. So, which is the locator used for finding multiple locators? Tag name. Okay. Typically used when you have to find out whether all the links on a web page are working or not. You write driver dot find element by dot tag name a. Okay. So, tag name is the locator which you use to find out multiple locators. Then you have what are the advantages of test ng? Test ng is a reporting framework which we use for reporting purposes. Right. Using test ng, you don't have to send the reports manually to all the stakeholders the stakeholders will be receiving the reports automatically. So that is the advantage of test ng. Difference between partial link text and link text. Partial link text using partial link text. If you write driver dot find element by dot partial link text, you do not need to write the complete link. For example, uh, if I have to click on this deprecated link, I need not to write deprecated. I can simply write DEP. So DEP will be matched with deprecated okay, if i write driver dot find element by dot partial link text dp dep so it is going to click on this link i guess in partial link text you write a partial link you do not like you do not write the complete link that is what partial link text is if you have if you're using link text then you have to write the complete name of the link so that is link text Okay, so how do you upload files using Selenium WebDriver? Now, when you ha have to deal with uploading files in Selenium WebDriver, that involves interfacing with a Windows app application. Okay, uh, let me just show you a scenario, just a moment. I'll show you one website. Just give me a moment. Okay, just see this website. Okay, on this, suppose if I have to upload a file, I'll click on this browse link. Let's see this manually. When I click on this browse, browse link, this link which appears, okay, uh, what you see here, this is a Windows based application. Now, Selenium cannot interact with this application because this is a Windows application. Selenium can only interact with web based applications. So, the moment a Windows application comes up, Selenium loses its power. So to interact with these applications, what we need to do, either we use Auto IT, that is a third party tool, or we can, Auto IT, there is, we can use, but there is a drawback of using Auto IT. What is the drawback? The drawback is, it only works with Firefox. It does not work with Chrome or other uh, browsers. So the better way is you use send keys method. The method which you use to write something on the web pages, Okay, you write driver dot find element by dot id uh, email dot send keys abc at the rate gmail dot com. The same send keys method can be used to upload files as well. Okay, so send keys method can be used and the auto it can also be used. Of course, you can also use Sikuli as well. That is again a third party tool, but the easiest of them all is using send keys method. Uh, let me just see if I have that method created written over here. Just a moment. Yep, here I have. Okay, so just see, I have written a method here to upload a file. And here I'm not using any auto IT. First of all, the implementation is very easy if you use the send keys method. Just see here. Okay, uh, these are the lines which you already know up to line number 14. You know what to do. And here I'm writing, first of all, first of all, I'm locating a, locating the button file upload. 
so let us see where that button is use your firebug click, uh, click on this and I'll click on this browse okay so this button has ID is equal to file upload so that is what we, I've written here I've written driver dot find element by dot ID file upload now here I'm writing dot send keys the path of the file which has been saved in my system so my file is saved in C drive in selenium 14 folder there is one file test file dot txt which I created just for uploading purposes okay, it can be any file so dot send keys now this is some abnormal behavior which we are implementing selenium send keys method is not used for this but we can use it to upload the files okay this is a universal method which we can use which will work on all the browsers auto it will not work on chrome or uh, ie but this method will work on all the browsers so this is better way of doing it first of all it is easy and universal okay so you use this send keys method okay so where i'm using i'm using send keys method first of all i'm locating this web element and here also on this button only i am using send keys method that is the path of the file is being sent to this browse button and then file submit dot click which one is the file submit this one upload okay once you have provided the path of the file you need to click on upload so that id is equal to file submit that is also being provided here right so after that once the file gets uploaded you get to see the message that the file that got uploaded successfully and that is what is being done here in line number 19 using the get text method i'm getting the text and in the in the end i'm printing that file uploaded successfully okay so this is one more way of uploading the file so this is the easiest one the best one to upload the file using selenium okay of course you can use auto it but it has limitations Okay, so what is Firefox profile class in Java? Firefox profile class in Java is a class which we use to change the default profile of the browser. Now, what do you mean by default profile of the browser? Let me give you an example here. Example is yep. If I write here about config, okay, on your Firefox, if you write about config and you click on, uh, it is going to say this might uh, void your warranty. Click on, I'll be careful. I promise. On this, you're going to see various properties which are set for the Firefox browser. By default, one of the properties is language. You can see here it says intl dot accept languages. That is the international accept languages, which is which it is going to accept. Right now, the default language you can see the default is English US. It is going to accept the US default languages, uh, English US default language. If you want to change the property of this. If you want to change this property, then you need to change the profile of the browser. Okay, if I want to test a web application in German or French language, I need to open the browser in German or French. For example, if I want to Gmail, if I want to check Gmail or Facebook on in French or German, whether it is accepting German or French characters, then I'm going to use the Firefox profile. I, I will have to change the profile of the browser okay so from the default language is english us i'll have to change it to german or french or whichever language i want to check okay so that concept is called as internationalization and that is achieved using browser profiling and for browser profiling we use profile class firefox profile okay similarly we can change the profile of chrome as well similarly we can change the profile of internet explorer by default all the browsers have the profile which have certain default properties. Like I showed you the default language is English. Some other properties are also there which can be modified according to requirement. Okay, so to ch ch uh, change those properties, we require Firefox profile class.
okay so uh, one one question which can be asked is how to get the runtime properties runtime properties are like you know what is the name of that text box what is uh, the id of that text box associated with that then we're going to use get attribute okay or someone may ask you how to get the font associated with particular web element then you're going to use get css value okay so get attribute or get css values are the methods which you're going to use to get runtime properties I'll just show you the example for Firefox profile. That's just a minute. Okay, you can see here, uh, I've implemented the same thing. Here, Firefox profile is the name of the class. Okay, so to change the profile of the class, you need to change use Firefox profile class. So this is the name of the class which you're going to use to change the profile of the browser. Right. Uh, 